One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and every NFL fan that hits on a lot of draft picks knows that they want those players to play with them for the rest of their careers. Even the front office knows that they need to do the, everything in their power to solidify this nice draft pick they got in the NFL draft to a long-term contract. Unfortunately, the NFL is a business at the end of the day, and unfortunately, that does not always happen with your elite rookies. Now, I have three Jaguar players that they drafted that I think will finish their career here in Jacksonville, but I also have three players the Jaguars drafted that I don't think will finish their careers in Jacksonville. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is three Jaguars draft picks that I think will finish their career in Jacksonville and three Jaguar draft picks that I think won't finish in Jacksonville. Will finish center Brandon Linder. The Jaguars had absolutely no problem two seasons ago making Brandon Linder the highest paid center in the NFL before that was recently broken. And if they made him the highest paid center, they know they want this guy for a long time and for the long haul. I think Brandon Linder finishes his career here in Jacksonville and he goes down as one of the better offensive linemen in Jacksonville Jaguar history. He does have a lot of big shoes to fill from guys like Brad Meester and Tony Baselli, but he's right up there. Just unfortunately cannot stay healthy, cannot stay on the field as much, but when he is on the field, he is one of the most dominant offensive linemen in the NFL. And for the Jaguars' sake, they better hope they keep this guy around for the rest of his career because they always need one solid piece. And as long as Brandon Linder can be that solid piece for Jacksonville for his entire career, the Jaguars should be fine at the offensive lineman spot and the center spot because Brandon Linder will finish his career in Jacksonville, Florida. A player that won't, middle linebacker, Miles Jack. Unfortunately, though Miles Jack is a very, very talented player, he's going to get he's going to want to be paid a decent amount of money and for the Jaguars when his contract comes up, they probably cannot give him the price tag that he's looking for because they have two other big names they have to re-sign that year, Yannick Ngakwe and Jalen Ramsey. And by that time, Jalen Ramsey will probably already be extended, so we're going to be trying to get Yannick Ngakwe through the door. So while we're paying attention to Ramsey and Ngakwe, Miles Jack gets neglected, and unfortunately he's going to have to step out. I think his final year on his contract is going to be his final year in Jacksonville. But wherever Miles Jack goes, he will dominate and he will be a great football player. Unfortunately, the Jaguars just could not make it work because they have two other superstars that they have to pay top-notch money for. And unfortunately, Miles Jack just was not at the superstar level that Yannick Ngakwe and Jalen Ramsey were. And that's why the Jags can't afford to pay him and why he won't be finishing his career in Jacksonville. One that will, Telvin Smith linebacker. Telvin Smith breathes Jaguar football. He is a loyal, loyal man. The Jags extended him to a four-year contract, I believe, two years ago. So he already signed his first initial contract. And like I said, he's loyal to the organization. He's loyal to the team that gave him an opportunity. So I really don't see Telvin Smith leaving, especially because whether you love him or you hate him, he is a very, very consistent part to our defense. He's the best tackler this team has. He's the best sideline to sideline player that this team has. Unfortunately, he's just not the best in pass coverage. But Telvin Smith is going to be around for his entire, entire career. He's going to be a captain his entire career. He looks up to guys like Paul Pazlesny, who was here for a really long time, solidified his legacy, and made sure that he was a leader and finished his career in Jacksonville, where you know his career basically started. He wasn't really a huge threat in Buffalo, but when he came to Jacksonville, that's when you knew that Paul Pazlesny was the real deal. And I think Telvin Smith sees a lot of that in himself and knows that he does not want to leave Jacksonville because he's already left his mark here. He doesn't want to restart anywhere else, and he's already a legend in the Jacksonville community and for Jaguar fans. So I think Telvin Smith finishes his career with the Jacksonville Jaguars. A player that won't, Yannick Ngakwe. Unfortunately, 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 and you know, a lot of you guys are going to hate me for saying this, but 
Yannick Ngakwe is a playmaker. Yannick Ngakwe is one of the best defensive players we've ever had. Yannick Ngakwe is currently third in sacks in Jaguar history, and he's only entering his fourth year in the league. He is only 24 years old. But with what the market has been set at at his position with the Marcus Lawrence and the fact that the Jags are going to have to try and find a way to bring Jalen Ramsey back, and you know that he's going to want a lot of money, I just don't think the amount of money that they're going to have to pay Jalen Ramsey will give them the opportunity to pay Yannick Ngakwe as much money as they want unless they cut basically a shit ton of people to make sure that Yannick Ngakwe and Jalen Ramsey are the centerpieces of the defense and make sure of that. But then in that situation, there's going to be a lot of holes that the Jags have to really, you know, fill. So, unfortunately, they're probably going to take, you know, depth at other positions over Yannick Ngakwe. And I hate to say that, I really do, but I just don't think the contract that the Jags are going to be offering up to Yannick is going to be up to his standards and up to his playing style because we won't have enough money at the time, I don't think, to offer Yannick Ngakwe the contract he wants because, you know, we already spent X amount of money on Jalen Ramsey, making Jalen Ramsey the highest paid corner in the NFL, which I almost guarantee we're going to do because we definitely, definitely want to keep Jalen Ramsey around. But unfortunately, that kind of shafts Yannick Ngakwe, and I just don't think he's going to finish his career in Jacksonville. And that pains me to say, that hurts me to say, but I also think it's true. One that will, Jalen Ramsey. Though Jalen Ramsey is open, very open, about talking, you know, kind of crap about the front office, sort of, kind of. He just posted on his Instagram story that Tom Coughlin was an old clown, but I think that was kind of sneak dissing. I don't, it, was, it wasn't directly towards Tom Coughlin, but you could really, you could tell because of what he said about Jalen not going to voluntary workouts, even though he does the same thing with his dad every offseason. I don't understand why Tom Coughlin doesn't get that, but uh, he did call him out. But Jalen Ramsey is going to get an offer that he can't refuse, and I almost guarantee it. I guarantee it. Jalen Ramsey is going to get... The highest paid corner in the NFL. I guarantee the Jaguars will make Jalen Ramsey the highest paid corner in the NFL. And he will finish his career here in Jacksonville because we know how much of importance he is. He's the face of Jacksonville, for fuck's sakes. Without him, we don't have a face of the franchise. And we need to make sure that he is here for the long haul because he's the best player we have. He's the best corner in the league. And Jalen Ramsey deserves it. And the Jaguars need a guy that is going to be like that, an elite player that's been around all of his career, and that guy is Jalen Ramsey. And the last person that won't, running back, Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette has been getting in trouble. He's been getting injured. He's not the hottest, you know, most liked person in the locker room by the coaching staff, unfortunately. So I could see him leaving after his contract is up we might pick up his fifth year option but I don't see us giving the bag to Leonard Fournette to come back especially with his track record you know last year with him sitting on the bench with TJ Yeldon with his arms crossed unless he comes out this year and has a 2,000 yard season or like a 1,700 yard season I just don't see the Jaguars bringing back Leonard Fournette I think they view Leonard Fournette kind of as a distraction and it's really really unfortunate because I do love Leonard Fournette and I love what he is capable of doing, but the injuries, man, that just has plagued his career so far, and I know he's only two years deep, and, you know, his third year, he could turn it around, and his fourth year as well, maybe he can turn around, and maybe we'll be able to offer him the bag, but as of right now, it just seems like he's a little bit too immature for this front office, I don't think that, but the front office does, I'm almost pretty sure, and, you know, that with that and the old heads we have in that front office, you know, there's no way Leonard Fournette comes back, especially if he doesn't have a huge bounce back season or two seasons uh, in Jacksonville. So unfortunately, Leonard Fournette probably will not be finishing his career here in Jacksonville. That's a damn, damn shame. He's a great player. I have his jersey, but that is just the way she goes. And that was three players that will and three players that won't finish their career here in Jacksonville. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Treep Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Treep Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, get yourself some Treep Talks merch over at teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash Treep Talks. And also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.